Are you thinking about moving to Spring Hill, Tennessee, or maybe you're just curious on whether or not it might be a good fit for you and your family? Well, you're gonna wanna stick around for this video because we're covering everything from A to Z to help you make the right decision for you and your family. I'm Brandon John. My name is Caleb Lovejoy. I'm Sam Coleman Answer with the Coleman Answer Group. Hey, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the number one channel for all things Nashville real estate. If you're thinking about moving to Nashville, the surrounding areas, living here, or relocating here, we are here to help you find your next home. I'm Brandon and my partner Sam and I get texts and calls and emails every single day from people just like you looking to move to the Nashville or surrounding areas. So if you're looking to move to the Middle Tennessee area, you know, in the next few months or maybe the next day, reach out to us, send us a text, give us a call, shoot us an email, or you can even click the link in the description to schedule a Zoom call with us where we can meet you and learn all about your needs so we can help point you in the right direction to help you find your next home. Now, as I mentioned, today's video is going to be all about Spring Hill, Tennessee. We're going to do a high level overview. I'm gonna show you on the map where things are located like schools, shopping, parks, some different neighborhoods, and then also be on the lookout for other videos covering Spring Hill, like more specifics about the neighborhoods, up and coming neighborhoods, new developments, updates just in general in Spring Hill, but also Franklin, Brentwood, d different areas around Nashville, Williamson County, Davidson County. So if you're curious about different suburbs, we are not just Spring Hill, we're all things Middle Tennessee, Nashville real estate. So you're gonna to wanna to subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bell on, so that way you're notified every time we post a new video just like this. So now with all that being said, let's hop on into Google Maps and let's check out Spring Hill. Okay, so here we are, and as you can see, Nashville is north of Spring Hill, and Spring Hill's right down I-65 below Franklin and Thompson Station. So right here, this is Spring Hill. And as you can see here, this is Duplex Road, and it's not the exact border, but this is Williamson County essentially, and then this is going to be the Murray County side of Spring Hill. Now this is important, and you may already know this if you've seen some of our other videos, but Williamson County Schools is ranked top in the state for um, the public school system. So if you have kids, keep that in mind. Um, if you're looking for homes in Spring Hill, you may wanna look on the Williamson County side, depending on what you are looking for and for schools for your kids. So um, that's just something to keep in mind. Um, and like I said, I've covered that in a few other videos. Spring Hill was actually mentioned in one of the top five suburbs videos that we put on the channel um, a few weeks ago. Feel free to check that out. We kind of compare Spring Hill with Thompson Station, Brentwood, Franklin, and Mount Juliet. So um, that's a good video to kind of give you some overview of some of the top suburbs. Population of Spring Hill is around 42,000 people. That was last census of 2020. So based off what we've seen over the last couple of years, it's going to be much higher than that. Uh, we've seen a huge demand of homes in Spring Hill. So it's going to be north of that 42,000 number as of 2022 when I'm recording this. So another thing that I wanna cover just right off the bat is home prices in Spring Hill. Um, looking on the Williamson County sides, the average home prices right now are around six hundred thousand uh, dollars as of like 2022 august september ish and last year they were five hundred and forty thousand ish um, so that's like 11 percent increase year over year so that's just something to know um, if that's in your budget just kind of give a range for you and i'll show you a few neighborhoods and different homes with new construction that's going to be pushing that million dollar mark um, but there's also some new construction that's around 700k um, but just know an average in Spring Hill, it's around $600,000 for the average price of a home. As you'll see here, Thompson Station is the city north of Spring Hill, but um, all your shopping isn't going to be in Thompson Station. Thompson Station is kind of just a smaller city that's going to be sandwiched in between Spring Hill and Franklin, which is where you're going to do your shopping. And right down here is the crossings of Spring Hill. And as you can see here, there's Target, You've got Buffalo Wild Wings. It's kind of just that little shopping center. It's Kohl's. Um, you got Ross, PetSmart, Electronic Express. Um, you got new Five Guys came in. You've got Chili's, Logan's Roadhouse. You got Longhorn Steakhouse, Jonathan's Grill, Red Robin, and then here's the movie theater as well. So this is like the main shopping in Spring Hill. 
and it's just this the crossings area. But the, you do have this strip with some other boutiques. You know, you've got Starbucks, and which obviously isn't a bar boutique, but um, you've got other restaurants down Main Street and some stores and stuff. You do have a few boutiques. There's that. This is a cool coffee shop, Fanning Goat Coffee. Um, and then you know, as you go into down Main Street, you're gonna get into Walmart. There's Lowe's. We've got Walmart here. Culver's. There's some restaurants over here. There's New Chipotle, um, Martin's. So these are some pretty cool restaurants to go to. So you've got a lot of options when it comes down to eating out. Um, then you've also got, like I said, Walmart, but then you have Publix. Here's your grocery store. You've got, this is one of like three-ish grocery stores um, in the Spring Hill, Williamson County area. So you've got Publix, you've got Chick-fil-A here. <laughs> I always got to point that out to for people that are looking to move here. They always ask, is there a Chick-fil-A? Is there a grocery? Where's the grocery store? Um, <laughs> and then if you keep going, you're going to go right into Thompson Station. So if you just look down Main Street, it's not that big of an area. Um, now, all this area right here is going to be neighborhoods, essentially. And you've got another grocery store here. There's a Kroger. And then the other Kroger is right here, technically in Thompson Station, but it's right off Main Street. So that's your grocery stores and your shopping. Now, in terms of schools, so you've got Chapman's Retreat here, you've got Allendale Elementary School, this is obviously elementary school. This is your middle school, Spring Station Middle School and Summit High School. Um, and then you've also got Longview Elementary over here. And then you also have, I think Heritage Elementary is probably in Thompson Station. Um, let's see, yep, Heritage is right here. But um, you could get zoned for Heritage Elementary School just depending on where you're living exactly. And then here's Heritage Middle School as well. So that's just right on the edge. And then a brand new school that just popped up, um, you know, not super brand new, but last couple years is Thompson Station Middle School. And this just goes to show like the demand and the, the population could just continuing to grow in the area. Like Thompson Station Middle School, um, Summit High School came and Spring Station Middle School came, you know, earlier before Thompson Station. But uh, these are some schools that, you know, are fairly new. Um, as you can see, like the facilities are great, um, and that's just a part of like that same kind of style that you're gonna see across the county in Williamson County. Now, jumping back to like shopping, like I said, you know, it, there's some basic stores. There's not some giant shopping mall in Spring Hill, but um, everything that you would need um, would be available to you in Spring Hill. But as you go north, you're gonna go into Franklin, and that's where you're gonna do like your actual mall shopping. You're gonna go into Cool Springs and we'll have a full like neighborhood tour covering Franklin and we'll go more in depth on Cool Springs and everything that's there. But that's gonna be more of your like, you know, Best Buy, their large mall with your H&Ms, your Dillard's, like just a lot more shopping and that's really only 15-ish minutes from Spring Hill. So it's just right down the road. I actually grew up in Spring Hill and you know, we would shop at Crossing and stuff for necessities, but Every time it was like going to get clothes and different things like that, like we're gonna just drive to Cool Springs because it's the large mall. Um, there's Dick Sporting Goods up there, Academy Sports. It's just a much larger city with in terms of shopping and stuff like that as well. So that's just the quick point I wanted to point out there. Now let's talk about parks. So as you can see here, there's a few parks right here: Harvey Park, Evans Park, and then Spring Hill Battlefield and Fisher Park. Spring Hill has some quite a few parks, and they're really nice. They all like have their own unique characteristics, but um, the Spring Hill Battlefield, for example, is, um, you know, it's a historic site, but there's a walking trails and you walk up to the hill and there's a cannon and stuff up there. Um, but then you also have Keedron Park right here, which is this loop as a walking trail around here. And we do have a new development coming in right here. And we just posted a video like to um, Keedron Square. So this is going to be all Keedron Square. It's going to be um, more homes, apartments, so like single family type cottages type things. Um, and there's gonna be shopping center and more. So they're just gonna try to expand on kind of creating that Spring Hill, you know, town square kind of feel, essentially. Um, it's just something that Spring Hill doesn't really have and Franklin and Columbia and other cities have it. Uh, so it'll be exciting to see how that plays out, but we do have a video breaking down all the different things that are gonna show up. We actually have a um, virtual map of where they're gonna put certain types of buildings and things like that. So um, this is, like I said, Kedron Walking Trail. Um, you've got 
you know, this is the Kijun Park, so it's basically just this giant field. <laughs> and there's this creek that goes right here, so you can play in the creek a little bit. There's crawdads and stuff there. But if you just move up from Kijun Park, you've got this skate park, which is a pretty cool, it's a really cool park, actually. Um, it's pretty new. And then you've got Harvey Park over here, which has a nice playground, some more walking trails. And then there's this Longview Recreation Center, so that's a Williamson County um, rec center. So there's an indoor pool, outdoor pool there as well. So there's lots of parks and activities to do. This is a bigger park right here. This is technically in Thompson Station. This is Heritage Park. There's some ball fields over here, as you can see, ball fields, but then also walking trails that go up into the hill. And it also comes back into Thompson Station um, Park right here, Sarah Benson Park. So this has a playground there as well and more walking trails. So pretty great selection of parks and yeah, it's in Thompson Station, but it's just a few minutes down the road and it crosses over, but lots of walking, um, hiking trails. And so you can't really go wrong. Like I said, there's a skate park as well. So a few playgrounds, depending on which park you're going to. And before we jump into kind of what the neighborhoods look like, I want to show you the commute of where you're going to potentially be commuting to and the time um, of that commute. So let's expand this and let's do directions. So let's flip this Spring Hill, Tennessee to one of the first things is going to be Cool Springs. So if you're living in um, Spring Hill, then you could be commuting to Cool Springs because this is just a huge business district. And like I said, we'll have another video on Franklin and Cool Springs, but that's where a ton, there's where Nissan, Mitsubishi, um, and Schneider Electric, and just a ton of like big corporations are located and where a ton of jobs are. So Cool Springs may be where you're commuting to. And so this is where you, you know, look at maybe the commute from Spring Hill to Nashville is much longer, um, but you know, the Cool Springs is fairly short. It's 25 minutes um, and that's calculating the traffic right now. It's in the afternoon, so we're not at rush hour. If you're going to be leaving Spring Hill at rush hour, uh, it's gonna be much longer than this, probably double. Uh, depending on what time you leave. But one exciting thing to talk about and before I show you Nashville's commute is right here, right next to Summit High School, this whole open area right here is going to be called June Lake. And this is a brand new development, massive development, over 2,900 homes. And I have another video um, right here that's going to cover, you know, the Kedron Square development like I talked about earlier, and then also June Lake. So this is important to know because if you're looking to potentially move to Spring Hill, depending on where you get your home, um, it's going to like, this is going to affect your investment, you know? There's going to be a ton more homes, shopping, a brand new grocery store in here as well. Um, and so one important thing about this is going to be the I-65 interchange that they're gonna have an exit right here. So you're gonna be able to, instead of having to go through this back roads and go from Thompson Station Road, from Buckner Lane, Thompson Station, to Pantal, and then down Kreitz, and then on Lewisburg Pike to I-840, where all the traffic is, you'll be able to just jump on I-65. So it's gonna help with the traffic congestion a ton, which is a huge bonus. Um, but yeah, that's just another thing. You definitely wanna watch that video because you're go it's going to break down these two developments that are going to have a huge impact on price of your home and just your investment in the Spring Hill community. So that's important. But like I said, there'll be a new IC5 interchange coming here in the next year or two years or so, depending on their build out plan. So that's gonna help a ton. So um, don't worry too much about the traffic, but um, that's just something to keep in mind. Now let's just see going straight to downtown Nashville all the way to the heart, Broadway. 40 minutes exactly. So if you're working in downtown Nashville, you're looking at about a 40 minute drive with like a normal day of traffic, not rush hour, you're looking at about 40 minutes. Um, as you can see, there's some traffic right here. So sometimes it's 35-ish minutes or so, but um, during rush hour, you're gonna be around an hour at least. Um, now, other thing is the airport. Let's do that one. 48 minutes, so under an hour to your airport. So not terrible, especially depending on what time you leave. But now lastly, to wrap this up, I wanna give you some ideas of a few different neighborhoods that are available in Spring Hill. And like I said, there's some new developments going on. So I just flipped it to the earth view so you can kind of like actually see like some dirt <laughs> um, to help you better picture this. But let's just zoom in on all this chunk of where these neighborhoods are. Like I said, Summit High School, Spring Station Middle School. 
And as you can see, like some of the newer developments where there's a lot of new construction and new homes that have been um, being built is right here. So you'll see this property right here. This is Wilkerson Place. This is their next phase. And this is gonna be walking trails right to Spring Station Middle School, Summit High School. And so that's a great plus. These are gonna be tighter homes. You can see here some townhome type style, but also some single families. Um, and these are gonna be around $700,000 mark. We were talking with the builder of some of our clients recently, and you are still able to lock in a contract and you know add your custom touches to the build, obviously because they haven't got it fully built out yet, which is great. Um, but then if you go across Buckner, you've got um, some more homes being built right here. So there was, this was like the newest like phase in the heart, like all of this area of homes that are being built. This is by John Mayer. Um, and a lot of these homes went up pretty quickly. And as we saw a ton of appreciation in the market, um, the back half of these homes started selling for a lot more than these, these first half of homes that are being built. Now you'll see a lot of these homes back here. Now that we're on this final phase, these were like the last few on this side of Round Hill Lane, but now on Hunt Valley Drive and finishing up Round Hill Lane back here, these homes are gonna be listed for around that 1 million mark, depending on the home. So some up to like that 1.1, 1.2, um, it's around the 900K. So it's, it ranges, but these are some, you know, higher end homes in the Spring Hill area that are popping up. So that's important to know, like I talked about, um, the style of these homes in all of this area, as you can see, it's uh, you know not giant lots, but you do have a yard on some of these. And so um, that's kind of like the feel that you'll get with a lot of these homes in this area. Lastly, before the end of the video, remember, like I said earlier, these are brand new construction homes, 700K to up to a 1.1 or $1.2 million. Um, but you also have you know the average home price in some of these other neighborhoods like um, you know, Crown Point, Wingate, Bricksworth, like that range from around that 600K mark. So that's the average home price. So you can get a really nice home in Spring Hill that fits for your family around that $600,000 mark. So if you're interested in more information on Spring Hill, I hope this kind of gave you that high level overview. But if you have more specific questions, like specific neighborhoods, like if you looked up this subdivision, like any kind of specifics that you have about Spring Hill, just reach out to us. Send us a text, give us a call, shoot us an email. We are here to help. We are the number one channel here in Nashville, Tennessee for all things Nashville and Middle Tennessee real estate. So that's why this channel is here. We want to help people just like you that are moving, whether inside Middle Tennessee to a different area or moving from out of state, you're new to the area. That's why we make these videos is to help you make the best investment for you and your family that fits exactly what you're looking for. So reach out to us, click the link in the description, schedule a Zoom call with us where we'll be able to meet you, learn all the specific needs of you and your family, and we can better cater everything that we do for you to help you find your next home. Now, like I said, this was the high level overview of Spring Hill. We're going to be doing a vlog tour of Spring Hill, also some specific neighborhood tours to give you even more information about Spring Hill to help you make those decisions. Um, but also of Thompson Station, of Franklin, Brentwood, you know, Hendersonville, all the different areas that surround Nashville, we're covering. So if this interests you and you want to be informed, make sure you subscribe, turn that notification bell on so you get notified every time we post a new video like this. So with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.